What's going on guys? Uh, I'm going to do a little video here. Um, driving around in the Buick. Uh, yay Buick! Um, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a enlightening video kind of thing. Um, I don't do these very often, but when I do, it's probably touched home. So, and I'm going to just kind of spout off about basic driving etiquette because you can hear my signal on I'm on the highway. Now, driving etiquette to me is, you know, obeying best basic laws, you know, don't speed, which I'm a little first to tell you, I don't drive the speed limit. <laughs> right now, I'm actually going five over the speed limit. And I'm giving these people, you know, room. That way they can maneuver their vehicles in a timely manner and get off the ramp. Now, driving etiquette to me is safety. Safety is key in all driving etiquette. Right now, I've got my phone on a, can, on a mount on my windshield. I've got both my hands on the wheel. Um, I got the radio turned down. Well, one. I don't usually run with the radio turned down at all. But... I'm talking to you guys, and when I'm talking to you guys, and I'm hoping every one of you listens to this, and I hope every one of you takes what I, my words into consideration, because I have had people, why did my ABS kick on? That was stupid. <laughs> anyway, um, I have had people die in my arms because of people who are inconsiderate and just drive like idiots and let me tell you guys it's not a fun thing to have happen I'm not I'm not I'll, I'll be the first to say I am not Mr. Perfect I am not anything perfect on the road I speed I listen to my music loud I grumble I gripe and blah 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 and I'm not going to jump into it completely but when you have when you're driving in the area like I do, and I'm in rush hour traffic, mind you. Now, when I'm driving, I expect a little bit of, a little etiquette from other drivers. You know, proper signaling. Um, give me ample time to stop if I need to, you know. That's why I'm giving this truck in front of me a wide girth because he slammed on his brakes on me. Why, I mean... There's no excuse for it. I'm actually going to get over from this Dodge Fuel Let Me. And, you know, I'm giving this guy plenty of time to see my taillights. He's going to say, hey, I'm slowing down. You know, and you'll notice, you know, there are people, and you'll probably, I don't know if you'll see it here, you know, but there's people that'll just jump out there. You know, they won't signal. They'll just jump out there and expect you to move for them. That's not, that's not cool. You know, it, it, it's a matter of safety. And if I have to go into story time later, I will. I mean, I'll make a different video for it. But, <clears throat> I mean, there's people that won't give you know, their fellow drivers, the time of day, they they will they will assume, get super angry, jump in and out of traffic, and just, in general, drive like total freaking maniacs, and I say it as a joke, yeah, I drive like a maniac, it's a joke, but when I drive like a maniac, I have common courtesy. I, I let you know I'm going to slow down. I let you know I'm going to turn. I let you know I'm going to switch lanes. It's it's all in personal safety, guys. And 
what I ask of each and every one of my subscribers, whether you drive or not, think about somebody else. Think about their safety. Think about whether they have a family to go to or not. Because they might. They might have a loved one that wants to see them for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you whatever you know, whatever they, they celebrate religiously. You know, if they have a you know just in general. Do they have a family to go home to? More likely. Do they celebrate Christmas and you know, do they have people far away that you know want to see them for their holidays? Of course, I'm sure they do. But take this from somebody who's lost somebody very, very close to them due to inconsiderate drivers and, you know, just in general. Slow down. Life is too short to be in a hurry all the time. Slow down. Take it easy. You know, everybody's pulse, you know, everybody's spirit is telling them, hurry, 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 hurry. And that was considerate. I let him out there. He, he was waiting. That was nice of me. But, you know, just do yourself a favor. Slow down. Take it easy. You know, it's, it's a matter of courtesy. And like I said, take it from somebody who's lost some somebody else, somebody very close and dear to them, due to somebody driving like an idiot, you know. Slow down. It's not worth killing yourself over. I don't care if you're late to work. I don't care if you're late to pick up, uh, you know, to pick up your dinner or whatever, which that's where I'm headed right now. Slow down. Be considerate to those around you. Take the time and think about maybe that person. Maybe that maybe maybe that person has loved ones that they would like to go home to. That person may be angry as hell at the world, you know. But they still have somebody to go home to. It's discouraging to see people that are so angry and so upset all the time, you know, that they, they feel that they have to make everybody around them miserable just to get by. But anyway, guys, I am going to leave you with this thought, you know, of just be, you know, please be considerate of others. Take the time. And look at, look at the person next to you in traffic and say, you know what, I value their life because their life is worth something. Anyway, guys, sorry for rambling like this and sorry for taking up so much of your time, but it's just one of those things that I, I, I wanted to get out there. Anyway, guys, take it easy and we'll talk to you in the next video.